Yo, what's up fellas? Just gonna bring you a quick little PR bench day vlog. Today I'm gonna try to do 275 for two sets of two. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Alright, this is going to be the last warm-up set, uh, 245 for a single. Um, I've just been doing cable work or yellow band work for my right shoulder in between sets just to really warm it up. Alright, not bad. Good speed. I think uh, at least three minutes to rest and then 275 for a double. All right, fellas, had to go to the other side of the gym to chalk up. Uh, I think it's like salt on this side or something. It's like it's not chalk, but rested up after that warm up rep at 245. I think the safeties are at the proper level, so hopefully I don't die and kill my throat, you know. But here is 275 for two reps. Here we go. All right, not bad, I'm pretty proud of that one. Could have timed it better on the light drive, especially on the descent. You know, I could have felt both feet fire at the same time as my hands. But that's something to think about for the next set. So I got one more set of two at 275 on the program. And then I'll probably do a rep out set at uh, 225. I'm probably gonna rest like four to five minutes on this one. Got some more rest time, so I might as well reprime the shoulders again. I got my coworker Josh uh, about to spot me for this second set. Hope I get it. Oh fuck, bro! Any critiques? Robert, what do you think? Shake, shake. <laughs> oh, fuck my back. All right, it's gonna be my last set for a uh, flat bench. Just gonna do an AMRAP at 225. That was nine. Just got stuck on that mid part on the last one. What do you think? Yeah, more, more heel drive. More heel drive. Ooh. My glutes, bro. My glutes. <laughs> All right. I don't know how. I don't know how these hundreds are gonna go because uh, probably need three minutes to rest before I attempt these. Just did uh, 60 pound dumbbells for I don't know eight, and did the 80s for a set of four but just picking up these hundreds felt heavy as shit bro after all that benching so hopefully i can get it like six to seven we'll see six is my pr right now for the hundreds
How much you weigh on the record? One, 120. <laughs> Famous, am I good? Yeah, you'll show up in uh, two seconds left in my vlog. <laughs> you doing arms today? Nah, today's uh, chest day. So I PR my bench today, 225 for two sets of two. Nice. And then I was like, oh, maybe I can you know, add an extra rep on the inclines. Yeah. Uh, I'm still stuck at six. Uh, pretty gassed from all that, so. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I feel like on a day where you were fresh, you have it. So, yeah. yeah. What are you hitting today? I already did my workout. I did an SPD day at IB. Um, oh, because your meat's coming up, right? I did my openers, and they felt good. Okay. Yeah, Feeling good. fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. I know. I'm really excited. I, I was like, I told my coach, I was like, we could do other stuff today. Like, can I just do accessories? He's like, just do whatever. You gotta touch the weight, you know, no pump. One one to two sets. She's like, you can go grow out. I was like, yeah, let me just go grow out by myself. Yeah. Nice. Like, yeah. right, good luck on your meat, yo. Yeah. What? Yeah. Alright, I was thinking like, you know what? I'm just gonna attempt the hundreds again. Maybe I'll get like four reps or something. But I'm just gonna keep the stimulus high and the volume low today. So one more set at the hundreds and probably drop uh drop back down to the nineties for a final set. And then uh, I don't know, some chest flies or something today. All right, just got five reps on that second set. Probably gonna rest three more minutes and then do uh, one last set at the 90s. Hi, Josh. He's gonna he's gonna spot me for this last set uh, with the 90s. Fucking gassed, man. All right, I think I got seven reps on the uh, 90s and then Josh spotted me for one. I'm gonna do two sets of push-ups, superset that with two sets of uh, max pull-ups, two sets only to failure. I'm gonna finish off with two sets of uh, V-bar push-downs for the triceps. And that's it, that's gonna be my bench day today. Alright, so that was 30 push-ups and then 12 pull-ups. Probably just gonna rest for two minutes. Oh, one more set of those and then some uh, tricep push-downs. All right, super fucking gas, bro. I think I just had 17 on the push-ups and then eight on the pull-ups. And then two more rounds of heavy triceps.
All right, just decided full stack for that first set. I think I got like eight reps or something. Gonna take two minutes and then adjust that all the way to uh, maybe 87 and then rep it out again. All right, just eight reps again. Fuck. All right, just a quick little pump check, pump check after chest day. So my chest isn't that pumped, but my triceps are engorged with blood. <sighs> Yo, post-production delts here. Uh, I'm just gonna talk about what factors contributed to my PR day today and how I overcame the struggle of having a shitty ass bench, a poverty bench, long arm motherfuckers will understand. You'll do anything to get your bench up, bro. Like. If if you're squatting near five plates and you're deadlifting near six plates and your bench is still below 300 pounds, like, listen up. So, if you have any kind of shoulder tweak, you need to be doing some kind of rehab work in between your sets, in between your warm-up sets. Just sprinkle it in. So, some of my favorites, because uh, I think my, I don't know, I think I have like an EC joint thing, you know, going on. I'm not really that great at self-diagnosis. It's either shoulder impingement or it's AC joint. Well, AC joint, it's kind of triggering here. So that's why I'm sure it's a little, that's why I'm confident it's a little bit of AC joint. Anyways, band pull apart. Some of my favorites, grab it shoulder width apart. And then, you know, get around chest level. And I like to pull it to where my touch point is on the bench. You know, do like 15 to 20 reps in between sets. You can do like 10 reps or so, 15 reps. Like this, if you're going to get over fatigue from doing this, when the benefits of having a more stable shoulder and a little bit better retraction um, um, is going to like hinder your performance on like one rep max, then you have more GPP cardiovascular problems that you got to worry about, more general conditioning that you got to do in your next block. But band pull aparts, key. I like to also do some kind of diagonal, not diagonal, it's for shoulder extension. So I'm holding one arm up here, and then the other one I'm going into shoulder extension. Again, shoulder extension just to really warm up the lats, right? Because you want your big chest and you want to stabilize, feel the lats as a, as a strong foundation before you lift off. Um, speaking about the lift off, changing my setup into more of that John Hack style setup. Put a video, put a video right here, right? Getting really, getting on under the bar, big chest, squeeze your traps a little bit. So putting all that pressure from, from driving your glutes up into your traps, settling down into the arch. So I, I feel like a 20% better arch, right? In my setup when I'm doing that John Hack style setup or a top down style setup, whatever you call it. And then, you know, Tucking my feet in, getting that stability, pushing into the bar as I'm driving in through my heels to create that decline position. And that's going to put all of that pressure into the lats. Yo, back again. I hope the audio is better. I forgot to mention a couple things. Um, one of the bigger tips is bending my wrist back just a little bit more. Usually I would have the wrist right here, but... This would this would be the facing uh this would be what it looks like if you were the barbell or if you're looking up in my fist, right? But uh I probably internally rotate just a little bit more and then cock it back, right? So I'm not afraid of that slight cock back position if I'm internally rotated. So essentially that's gonna rotate my elbows. It's gonna rotate my elbows from here if I was more straight to 
here, right? Notice how the elbow pits kind of face each other. The elbow pits are kind of facing each other as opposed to being like rotated up. Uh, more of an internally rotated setup. Elbow pits are facing each other, right? Parallel to each other. And then as I am, as I am pushing through my feet, I am initiating more of a flare, right? More of a flare out of the sticking point. So that's gonna, that, that's really helping me through the sticking point and helping me lock out with the elbows is initiating that flare, all right? That's it, more of that flare. The elbow flare is key. It's key in the sticking point. Um, another, another point about why like this is too straight. This is what I used to bench like, and then now I'm more here, right? Cock back a little bit more, internally rotate a little bit more. Because the more cock back you get, as long as it's still centered on the base of the palm and you're squeezing hard, that's gonna eliminate some of that, some of that range of motion as opposed to having the bar here, right? Notice where it sits. It's gonna be a little bit lower, right? So that's one thing that helped me out as well. Slight bulldog grip, still grabbing on. Unrack on the lats. Flare the elbows through the sticking point. Flare through the sticking point. Um, and then lastly, lastly, one of the biggest things. If you suck at leg drive, if your legs, you can't feel your legs help out. Honestly, it might be a shoe problem, bro. Like... I use I usually bench with hokas. Those are like walking and running shoes, high cushion. Um, and then I'm switching over to actually benching with deadlifting shoes, right? Kind of really flat, high, high traction with the floor. Like you're super sticky. If you feel like Spider Man two, you know, while you're benching, um, you don't have to get the name brand notorious lifts. I didn't. I just got some random ass fucking. Some random ass fucking Amazon brand. Like these are clearly knockoffs, but I'm not gonna pay like 75 bucks for like some notorious lifts when I just get the cheaper version. Cause who who the fuck really looks in my feet? You know, who who fucking cares? Cause I'm trying to save you guys a buck in this economy, fellas. Like pro tips and tricks. Who the fuck cares about name brands when they're all from the same sweatshop anyways in China? Alright? So those are my biggest things. I didn't those are my biggest factors today that affected my setup and affected my PR day. My old PR was 280 for a set of one, and I just did 275 for two sets of two today. So there's literal evidence that I have gotten stronger. Um, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Um, if you guys are looking for coaching, uh, hit me up in the DMs, email me, or I check the description. Leave a comment, share. I might reach out to you, bro. Fuck. Yeah, I got bills to pay, you know. <laughs> uh, besides that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.